So there you have the white horse at Uffington. I've pictures before, but not quite as clear as of the horse itself. Pencil shaped in the zone. Clear day. See for miles around. Hopefully give you some of the views in a moment. There's a view from the halfway up the hill. You've got to see, but there's a red kite floating out there somewhere. And just above the crest of the hill, camouflaged at the moment. Dropping down. Shows you roughly where we are. Uh, Huffington Hill. Shows you all the uh, places in front of us. Uh, I'll just show you what's in front of us. Let's see for miles. Apparently, you can see five counties oh, from here Oxfordshire. Berkshire, Wiltshire, Gloucestershire, and I believe Warwickshire as well. Out in the distance there, on a clear day, and it is a clear day. Shadows there, a few clouds are in the sky. Heading up to the castle, Effington Castle. White horse is over there to my left. So it's a bit windy up here, but you can see the view. We're on the castle itself there, Uffington Castle. Looking back towards Uffington at the moment. Um, yeah, apparently somewhere in the background is Warwickshire. Around a bit further into the centre. Um, there's grass now, but. When this was thriving, I think it was in the Bronze Age. You would have had a big village here. Looking many huts and huts and a well somewhere there in the centre. Just another view from the top of the castle. One survey marker, that white marker there. The white horse is below us there in front. Drops down. View of the dip there. Um, of the castle. The two mounds. Wooden stockades would have been built on either side. Stop marauders coming in. View back towards Berkshire there. So Berkshire back there. Going back down the other side of the, the fort, the hill, the castle, whatever you want to call it. Looking back towards Swindon again. I believe. So down there is Dragon's Hill. Legend has it that's where uh, St. George slew the dragon. Got a kite overhead coming this way. I don't know whether you can see him. Flying there. There he goes. Village of Uffington down there as well. A few of the hills around here. It may look sunny, but it is very cold, very high. 
one of the highest points in Wiltshire and um, a bit windy and it's probably about minus temperatures up here Kites have just landed on the ground It's taken off again Too far in the distance for you guys to see, I think Floating down there They just literally hover there on the updrafts, don't they? Yep, yeah, over, the, over the hill Here he comes, look Oh, they like They now just have that eagle look <laughs> It's more like Another view of Dragon Hill there, in the distance. Swing back there to the White Horse. Which of that you can read. Um, this says, to start with anyway, it's the oldest chalk figure in England um, between 1400 and 600 BC. The White Horse um, has fascinated people for centuries. Um, it says its lithe, sinuous form appears as it's fro frozen in a perpetual canter from the top half of the hill. From the horse's head, you look into the Valley of the White Horse on a clear day you can see for over 35 miles to the Chilterns. White Horse is just above here. You, get, you might actually better see it there in the background. But that's a bit of the history of the White Horse. Nations before, but it's a bit clearer. Um, yeah, just telling you about the White Horse and the history of. A little bit anyway. Yeah, this is Alan. 